fighter jets are built to withstand extreme forces, acceleration, deceleration, traction, and torsion. These same forces are a constant pressure on the Chronomat's bracelet. To survive, every link must be built fighter jet tough. But there's more. It has to look good too. The bracelet is a way how to fix the watch head to your wrist. But also, it has to be uh, comfortable. It has to be uh, reliable. But also, it has to fit aesthetically with the watch head. In Le Loc, technicians and highly skilled polishers create the over 200 Chronomat bracelet parts. It's our job to make the parts, from the simple to the more complex, out of all kinds of materials. Serge Delegal's in charge of the bracelet machining sector. He's also in charge of this a very big, very long, very secure safe. Filled with more gold and platinum than many bank vaults. This rod on the safe, it's worth more than 500,000 francs. So in the safe, we have about three to four million francs or more. Gold, platinum, and titanium are used for different styles and models. But most chronomat bracelets start out as lengths of pre-shaped stainless steel. So here we have some stainless steel rods that are four meters on average with a pre-cut shape. Operator Marco Bacanelli feeds the bar into this CNC machine. Now, technology takes over. It mills, drills, points and trims the bar into chronomat bracelet links. With a four meter steel rod, we can make up to 1,000 pieces. Up next, polishing. Ricardo da Silva is a master craftsman with 10 years experience. His job, first shape, then smooth and shine each link. It's skilled work. The slightest mistake will destroy the part. You can't do it any old way because it's easy to mess it up. There's a certain way to work with it, but it's not so obvious. Ricardo uses specialized abrasive pastes to achieve the correct finish and high quality shine. So for the paste, we have the white paste and the orange paste. The white paste is more abrasive for roughing up the surface. And afterwards, we move on to the finishing stage. That's the orange paste. It's softer and finer. It's just to give it a good shine. The beautiful brightling shine is complete. Next, main assembly. Associate Carla Duran joins the links together with a pin. There's no easy way of doing it. It's like threading a needle thousands of times a day. Then, Carla attaches the brightling clasp to the bracelet. A tiny screw holds it in place. And the luxurious brightling bracelet is born. Et voilà, le bracelet est terminé. 